A lot of you ask me about the official DaVinci Resolve panels. They're very good tools, but they have one big limitation. You can barely customize them. So I started looking for something more practical, and that's when I ended up trying Tourbox. You have all your editing and color tools in a single console. In this video, I'll show you how I have it configured, how I edit with it, and the shortcuts I use the most in DaVinci Resolve. And by the end of the video, you'll have a clear idea of whether Tourbox is something that could improve your editing speed. Recently, Tourbox sent me their new version, the Elite Plus, to test it out. The video is sponsored, but I already have a lot of experience with this device and a well-formed opinion about it. The first thing I recommend is starting with the default profile. It's well designed, works right away, and covers the most common DaVinci Resolve functions. From there, you can modify it based on your workflow. For me, the best thing about Tourbox is definitely its wheels and dials. Here's how I have them set. Central knob for timeline zoom, I'm constantly adjusting the zoom. And with this knob, it's incredibly fast. Pressing the knob makes a quick cut in the clips. The interesting part comes when you combine buttons plus wheels. For example, if I press this button and turn the knob, I can move the selected clips. If I press the side button plus knob, I select all clips to the left or right. I use this a lot when I need to add or adjust something I've already edited. The same knob can handle multiple functions. I mainly use the bottom dial to move frame by frame without having to press the arrow keys over and over. On the third wheel, I've assigned the shuttle playback function. Turning the wheel forward speeds up the video to whatever speed I want, and turning it backward rewinds. It's a super useful tool for saving time when reviewing content. This button here is mapped to the Alt key. I use it to duplicate clips and also add keyframes. Then pressing this button and turning the same wheel lets me adjust the keyframes quickly. You can also set the wheel to shuttle browse, which lets you scroll much faster. The motion is smooth and continuous with no sudden stops, so you can navigate your project much more quickly. I have some additional wheel configurations in the edit module like adjusting the timeline view or modifying the zoom of all audio or video clips. But these are the main ones I use every day. Once you get used to editing with wheels, dials, and all your shortcuts in one hand, the difference is huge. Now let's check out the button shortcuts. One button for play and another for delete. On the D-pad, I have the essentials. Up, copy. Up plus side, cut. Down, paste. Down plus side, paste attributes, which is great for copying audio effects or clip settings to other clips. I highly recommend having a keyboard shortcut for this menu. The left and right buttons are for setting in and out points. The small button is for toggling snapping. Some people use this button to open a menu with multiple functions or macros. For example, you could configure it to quickly show or hide workspaces or to bring up a custom menu with other tools. But I don't really need that yet. Other functions I've assigned, create compound clip, enter a compound clip, double click to open the speed change or freeze frame menu. I often freeze clips or adjust their speed to sync recordings with the tutorial voice. Side double click to link or unlink clips. And I also have secondary combinations that I use for things like full screen, switching monitors, adding markers, changing clip colors, adjusting the timeline view, or opening and closing the inspector or media pool panels, that kind of stuff. Tourbox is an all-in-one console. You can use it for editing, color grading, selecting, and it can be fully customized for any software, not just DaVinci Resolve. How does Tourbox work on the color page? One of the functions I use the most is hover adjust. It lets you adjust practically any parameter just by hovering your cursor over it and turning a dial. No clicks, no dragging. You simply turn the wheel and it automatically creates a keyframe. You can fine tune values, curves, sliders, the color warper. You basically get unified control over multiple panels. It hasn't replaced the mouse, but it complements it really well. 
Something other controllers don't offer is workspace recognition. Every time you switch pages in DaVinci Resolve or even switch applications, it detects the change and automatically activates the correct preset. Having different functions depending on the page is very practical because it lets you make better use of the controller's layout. I'll be honest, if you're looking for a device just for color grading, the black magic panels are better because they're designed specifically for that. But most editors prefer a controller that works for everything, not only for color. Tourbox is a company that listens to its users and continues releasing new features and updates for DaVinci Resolve. While I was making this video, they gave me early access to the upcoming Hover Adjust interface update. Some adjustments respond even better, and it's easier to control small changes. Where I noticed it the most is in the color wheels. Now, with the dial, you can move around the wheel to select the hue or tint, and with the knob, you adjust the intensity of that color. The fact that they keep improving and adding features is something I really value. Since I have both Neo and the Elite Plus, here's my opinion. In terms of design and button layout, they're practically identical. They work the same way and the experience is basically the same. The only difference I've really noticed is the wheel. Tourbox Neo, the wheel feels more mechanical, more manual. Elite Plus, the wheel has digital vibration feedback. The knob and dial also have digital vibration, which the Neo doesn't. Which one do I recommend? The Tourbox Elite Plus is perfect if you work on a laptop, if you edit in DaVinci Resolve on an iPad, or if you use drawing or design apps on a tablet. I know many of you edit on DaVinci Resolve for iPad, so this model might interest you. Tourbox Neo if you always edit on a desktop with a fixed setup. It only works via cable, it's cheaper, and the experience is practically the same. So if you're working at a desk, I fully recommend this version to save some money. If you want to check prices or more details, you'll find the link to the Tourbox website in the description and the pinned comment. I've been using the Tourbox Neo for over three years. My current setup is a Logitech mouse with customizable buttons and the Tourbox. I always say the same thing. Tourbox isn't essential. You can edit perfectly fine with the keyboard and mouse. But once you try working with wheels, dials, and everything at hand, it's hard to go back. And if I switch back to just keyboard and mouse now, I immediately feel slower and clumsier. It's all in one control. If you want to improve your editing speed and it fits your budget, Tourbox is a tool I truly recommend. And if you talk to people who use it or check the reviews, you'll see they feel the same way. Once they add it to their workflow, editing with just the keyboard simply doesn't feel as comfortable anymore.